cargo ships and tankers have been like flies on a cow patty. They're everywhere. I don't know what's going on. He came back to the boat and he had the police with him and the customs agent with him. What is up y'all? Welcome back to Sailing Tellaru. We are currently sailing to Morocco. We left out of Portugal, and if you didn't see that video, that is our very last one. It was a lot more eventful than we had planned because I accidentally dropped one of our cameras overboard. And my hero, Sean, literally had to whip this boat around, and he got it with one of our dip nets. So I'm so thankful that he was able to get it because it had way too much footage on there to lose. But anyway, we are sailing to Morocco. Oh my gosh, y'all, our adventures in Lisbon. It was amazing. I did not want to leave. This is the only place so far that I was truly disappointed that it was already time to leave. We did a cooking class. usually do this being only about a 350 ish mile sail that's like barely anything compared to what we've been doing lately so I just whipped up a big batch of rice that we could easily throw different ingredients in when we want it and now that we have sailed all the way across the Atlantic it seems like a three-day sail four-day sail like this is like nothing we are less than 90 nautical miles out from Morocco so we should be getting there sometime tomorrow before before noon, y'all, it's gonna be good. Hey y'all, so here we are on day three on our way to Morocco. Then it's been awesome sailing since we left Lisbon. We had winds down in the low 20s. So when we got further south and made the left turn headed toward the Strait of Gibraltar, the winds picked up into the low 30s. We had winds up around 33, 34 knots. So we've been running our stay sail in a deeply reefed main, and we are riding the waves headed toward Morocco, y'all. One thing I will note is that the cargo ships and tankers have been like flies on a cow patty. They're everywhere. Overall, awesome sail. We are making our way to Morocco one wave at a time, y'all. We're cruising, Delilah's snoozing, and Sean's grooving in the galley cooking up our supper.
I've just started my watch for the evening. Sean took the first watch. It's currently 2 a.m. We can see city lights to our right and to our left. We're currently going through the Strait of Gibraltar. There is a ship currently passing us on our starboard side. It's a little cool out here, but it's not freezing like it felt like to me that it was out there unprotected in the Atlantic. According to our iPad navigation, it says that we are 34 nautical miles out from the marina, averaging about five nautical miles per hour right now. So maybe we'll get there by the time they open. We are almost there. We are actually 6.7 nautical miles out, but it's still early. I don't think the marina is open yet. We think they open at nine and it's 7.15. Right now, if we keep going like we're going, we'll get there just before they open. So we're trying to slow down just a little bit, but yeah, it's arrival day. Oh my gosh, I'm looking at the view over here. It is beautiful. I cannot wait to be there with my husband. Sean and I are gonna have so much fun and I think the food is gonna be incredible. I've said it before and I'll say it again, that's probably what we look forward to the most is the food everywhere we go. But anywho, Delilah girl has been a good little baby. Has been a good baby, yes. I uh, took the second watch last night. Sean took the first one. Um, I think it was like 9.30 to 1.30 and I did the 1.30 to 5.30. But Sean doesn't always sleep his entire like shift that he's supposed to be sleeping. So he got up like 30 minutes early, came up here. But yeah, so I've been up since 1.30. Hopefully we can get in here like right a few minutes after they open, top off our fuel tanks, get into our slip, water filling up our tanks all tied up in the slip, shore power, all of that jazz. Have all of that done maybe by noon. Cause I feel like getting checked into a new country and all that sometimes takes a little bit of time, but hopefully since it's like so early in the day, we can be done by noon and then like get something really good to eat and then relax. Y'all. Another milestone reached aboard Tellaru, one wave at a time, as we approach landfall on the continent of Africa, the third continent, and the country of Morocco, the sixth 
country. We've sailed to aboard Tellaru since our amazing journey began way back in Coconut Grove, Florida. That looks like that that dock is pretty high. As we got closer and came around the wall, we noticed that the dock was much higher than we realized. So I went ahead and adjusted our fenders to be just a little bit higher. Sean taught me the fending off technique early on into our sailing using a ball fender. And y'all, it sure does come in handy when docking. Docking this here 44-foot sailboat of ours as a team of two is something I'm proud to say we are getting better at with each new docking experience we have. When we pulled up into the Marina Smear, it was nice to have the luxury of someone to toss the line to, which certainly made it much easier this time. We do not always have that as a luxury, and in many cases, it's just Sean and I. All right, so we just got to the fuel dock. Yay! Anyway, Sean just went to get us checked in and all of that. No, Lala Girl and I are doing our usual waiting on board. Oh, it feels good to be here so early. Not getting here like midday or anything. It is 9 a.m. Hopefully we can before noon or by noon maybe be in our slip. Electrical hooked up, water hooked up, all checked in. Fuel topped off. We didn't hardly use any fuel this time. We only motor sailed a little bit. So while Delilah Girl and I are just sitting here waiting on Sean to get us checked in, I was just thinking like, Delilah Girl is one little fortunate pup. I mean, she's not a pup, she's five years old, but she has already traveled from the US to Mexico, to the Bahamas, to Bermuda, to San Miguel, to Portugal, and now Morocco. Six countries. I'm getting a little nervous. I can hear Sean's voice. I can't understand what he's saying, but all of a sudden I started hearing Sean's voice from the cockpit of the boat and he's inside that building and I don't know what's going on. I see somebody from the outside is all of a sudden like watching everything going on inside. Maybe it's nothing. Maybe he's just laughing and cutting up. After an hour and a half of Sean trying to get us hooked in, he came back to the boat and he had the police with him and the customs agent with him. They came through, did walk through inspection and now they are off of the boat. So some time has passed by, Sean topped off our fuel tanks and now he's gonna go pay for that really quick. Then we're gonna head to our slip. So it is now 11.15 a.m.
post brand new videos twice a week, so y'all be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe.